Hello, hello and welcome back to City Skylines. Look at this. It's Circle City, but like you've never seen it before. <laughs> We're playing with some mods. I just wanted to get mostly aesthetic mods. Ah, that's not true. We did put in a few gameplay altering mods. Not altering mods, but like road tool mods. Things that are going to help us out along the way. And obviously this lovely first person camera mod well that's not a good view here we go so we can enjoy the views of the city from within and without see what traffic's like on the highways see what traffic's like in the city in the circle you know, the way you can see the windmills on the mountain on the on the hills so we're gonna probably see a few new buildings this isn't one of them this is o'reilly bookstore o'reilly's bookstore it's weird seeing things from down here who am i I've got legs. I have legs. That is all I know. Oh, we went to the car wash, and then we turned into a car. Classic. There's some new vehicles that were added, so you might see some new cars in the, in the game world that weren't here before. Some new people models. Things like that. But anyway, that's enough. Of the, whoa, what is that little thing? I hate that. How do I get out of this mode here? There we go. Alright, so we're gonna get back to working on Circle City, as you can... See, it's still a circle, and it's still doing well. We've made some money while I was just fooling around there, looking around. So that has set us up nicely to start doing some building. Summit Grounds, I think we built that just at the end of the last recording. And so now we can get back to building our beautiful circle. And we did do this, so it comes out there now before we start working on that. So this is some of the new stuff here. I don't know how this works yet. I'll worry about this later. Force tunnels. What is this? Toggle collision, toggle straight slopes, toggle road bending, toggle anarchy. I don't actually know what any of that means, and maybe I don't want to play with it. Maybe we just hide it. We hide it until we need it. We also have this button here that'll turn things into roundabouts. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, so it'll just it'll just put roundabouts in, should we need some. I guess that's cool. Like, we could put one here. Click to build, plus or minus to adjust radius. Can I make it small? It's red, so I don't know if that means no. Let me see what happens if we make a nice little one there. Oh my goodness gracious. I hate that, and yet I don't know how to get rid of it now. Please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did this. Oh no. I'll fix you, I promise. Hang on. I do like the fact that I can make a roundabout. I just don't want it to be that. Maybe that? That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Nice size. See, those we could fit in Circle City. We could have smaller circles in Circle City. Oh my goodness. We could have circles in Circle City. Hello? We could have circles in Circle City. Oh, we've just unlocked new park upgrade. I'm losing my mind. Is this too much? Or should we have circles at every four-way intersection? With a house in the middle? Hello? You live in the middle of an int of a, of a, of a roundabout. So I can push this button here, and this lets me go way... This lets me go down to the street level. This is cool. Can we slow down the game? Thank you. So there you go. Somebody lives in the middle of that intersection now. Maybe these are... Maybe these are better suited for commercial rather than residential. Maybe those are... Maybe those are commercial squares. Single commercial squares for the middle of our roundabout. I don't know. Is it, Should I be using the roundabout tool as often as I am? I think I will. Just for... Anywhere that we've got a four-way intersection. In fact, I might just go through and quickly fix that. And this needs to be moved because now that's not that's not allowed. The people were very, very upset very momentarily. And then they rejoiced when they realized that that was a temporary move. So yeah, maybe in order to maintain that we don't have to keep traffic lights, we, are, we, we will have roundabouts instead. And then that's the magic that allows that to happen. Can I do that there where it connects to a bridge? I can. And then people's houses will get wiped out once they realize, oh no, I can't actually exist here. At least I think it will. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah, see, like these guys here, they're figuring it out. Oh, we can't have a house in a roundabout. What are we doing? Something's weird in this game sometimes. Yeah, like this house here. That might not be a house. That might be a medical clinic. So that needs to be moved. Anywhere we see anything funky happening on the roundabouts, we can we can go in and quickly fix those. I do like these little car washes and ATM machines. That's like a little bank. That's fine, I like that, that's cool. That's like a little, little general store, a little car wash. There's one there, there's probably not that many in the one by one tile pool, to be fair. So we might see some, some repeats, as it were. So yeah, I'll probably only use those where we have four way intersections, of which there's not actually that many in the city. We've done a good job of kind of keeping that down to three way intersections in most locations, even here. But yeah, some more circles for Circle City. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Now, speaking of circles for Circle City, I don't want to put one there. I want to put one here, and I want to put one here. Uh oh. 
we're gonna have to keep moving these so why don't we move these back now so we don't have to keep thinking about it and then that means I can put this road in here and I don't even know if I need like I put in these mods kind of help to help with the to help with making the circles but now I'm feeling like maybe I don't need to wait a minute what's going on here why does this not ever line up with anything no, I think that's where I need to do it okay and now we've lost our power line immediately super cool I guess you know what let's just bring it over there since that's where it was originally and then I want one that comes out straight here we're just basically building the next part of the circle I'm trying not to put in four-way intersections but I also don't want intersections that are like too close together this might not be good I mean we'll figure that out I don't want to put another one there let's do that so that's a four -way, no that's a three-way intersection disguised as a four-way intersection see this one's just gonna make it complicated this one's just making it hard for me to line it up with the right to snap oh what is that oh <gasps> oh that's beautiful oh okay holding holding shift lets me do some sort of magic and holding alt does some sort of magic too so that's kind of cool i have to remember this so i wonder if that's gonna let me build these curves better let's see if i'm like oh i want to attach to this no that is what we want though isn't it no maybe it isn't that is and then this one we want to meet there and then this one we want to meet can i lock this in yes i can of course you have to start it new oh look at that so i don't know if that's the mod helping or if that's just the base game doing what it's supposed to so i want that to line up with that and we don't have a road that comes out here yet but we will space already occupied i mean that's fair that is true the space is already occupied we'll fix this so I want to line it up with that. Can I force that to stay? Not quite, but I can do that, which makes it a little bit, I think I kind of see where that was. I don't think that's right. 125 degrees there. No, see how that's 34 and 31? Those should probably line up. Is there a way to snap to this? 31 and 34, I don't think that's right. Maybe that's where I want it. 32 and 33, that seems closer. 123.7, I don't know what that actually should be. We're having some crazy math times here. So maybe if that's 32, that's 33, that seems okay. You know, things are gonna be weird sometimes and there's not really anything I can do about it. So I'm sorry. 13 and 13, that seems reasonable. That is 13 and 13 as well, that's all bridge. 21 and 20, see these are, those are reasonable numbers. Now the circle grows. It's just, it looks weird from the ground, like it doesn't look so circular whenever you're down here because part of it goes up on the hill, but if you look at it straight, straight on from above, then it's perfection and it's beautiful and it's a work of art, a work of art indeed. And maybe somewhere up here, maybe we want this to go out two because then two would be one, two, it would be to there. Okay, so then this one here, in order to curve this, we do this. Uh-oh, I've gone too far, or I've gone not far enough. Maybe that's how I want to do that? 43 and 42, that seems really close. Oops, oops, my power lines. And then maybe I want to do the same thing over here. What was that, two out? I could do it as a straight line. So that's going to be tricky. So if I do it as a bridge, I could have done that higher. Maybe using a better angle helps here. <laughs> is that, is that allowed? Am I allowed to do that? And then I want to keep that at 90. Is this going to show me the middle point? Is that what that is? Is that what that line is? 43 and 42, is that actually lining up? I think it might be. The Hunter Bridge, it's, it's not great. I don't have move it yet, or at all, rather. So can't do anything about that. But am I allowed to like bring this back in? does appear to calculate the midway point to what though is that right i mean i can't go there because there's already space there so maybe i want to go so if i go to there where does that go to 37 and 37 i think is there and that does feel like it's lining up nicely well, you know what how about this if i go to here no that's not right that's definitely not right. You know what? We're gonna have to do something about this because I can't be doing that. That's too wacky. Oh, it's possible maybe that it doesn't want to cross over. Is that the middle point? I think that's the middle point here. That feels right. Of course, we've done this again. Oh no, hang on. This has to go up a little bit and then this one here might even need to go up a little bit. You know what? Let's try something here. These are some wacky bridges. I don't know how I feel about this. 
The game says it's okay, but I don't think it's okay. Like this part here, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel like it needed to be up above the ground. So I'm gonna try and fix this. So that's a little bit better. Whoops. I mean, those are still crazy bridges. Also, why is the world so foggy? It's fine. I might even start to build where I'm gonna start putting some industrial stuff. I'm thinking we tuck it over here. Out of sight, out of mind, you know? And so to do that, maybe we go one, two. And then in order to meet with that, maybe we go one, two, three, four, because that's, that's needed. Please, there we go. And then in order to bring these together, is that right? 85, 90, it's to like there. 36 and 36, that feels right. And then another two there, and then this would come out. One, two, no, three, wait. One, two, three, four, four. I can count. One, two, three, four. We're doing all the important infrastructure set up here. Uh, that's not right. How dare you do this to me? Yeah, see, it thinks it wants to be three meters off the ground. We don't want that. We want it on the ground. That's okay that there's a little bridge there. And then we're going to do a little curve here. Uh oh, this one's a little bit tricky. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do it to that point. Not easily. It might be to there. Uh, see, it's 88.9 at the end. So I think what we want is for that to be 90. Or as close to 90 as possible, 89.8. Oh, now I'm starting to understand how these numbers work. 89.2. So what if I do that? 89.2. And if I go to there, 88.87.2. That's bad. 89.8 is 88.2. Sorry, that's not that's not good. 89.2. Can I get that closer? No, I think that's just that might be what we have to live with here. Because otherwise, 89.8 actually is way better than 89.2. I think that's as good as it's going to get, so we'll do that. And then we're going to bring another road out here. And another one there. I'm going to bring this one to the middle. See, that's 90 and 90. That's that's perfect. And then this one we would have to do to there. And that's, mm, I'm sure I can get that better. 90 and 90, yeah. 90 and 90 is what we're looking for, but we're not always gonna get it. Now that's starting to look crazy. And it's starting to get to a point where I can say, okay, now we're gonna move the industrial over here. But we're gonna have to think about different ways that we're gonna manage some of the stuff going on in there. So now we've got some big open spaces all over the place for us to start zoning. And I, I guess I'm gonna put the industrial out here now. So we'll say, Everything here is industrial, and in fact, I might even zone this specifically as the industrial slice. It's not going to be any specific kind of industrial. Oh, can I zone outside of the borders? Is that part of a mod that I put in? It might be. Oh no, it's just touching the border. And that would actually continue out that way. So this entire slice here, Highland Hills, is going to be an industrial zone. Generic industry. I guess I don't have to actually call it generic industry. It just is. But for now, I'm going to leave this spread out. And we're going to start putting in some of our generic industry. And just to make sure that we know where our generic industry ends, we're going to make sure that it's lined in commercial. Oh yeah, we need to run pipes. Let's not forget to do that. Okay, we need to run power out here, of course. So I'm just going to do this really quick and kind of dirty, just like that. Okay, so we know that we want this to be surrounded by commercial. And that just kind of keeps it contained so that we're not accidentally building residential too close. So another thing that we're going to start doing is saying we got to empty these. So I'm going to empty one of them into the other one. Then I'm going to move it over here. And hopefully this doesn't become too crazy because we're going to have a lot of industrial trucks coming in and needing to get up here. So we're going to have to we're going to have to monitor this situation pretty carefully to figure out if things are going as they should. For now though, let's try this out. Let's try the walkthrough mode.
All right. So definitely one of the things I've noticed is we need to get a fog remover because <laughs> there is some very, very bad fog that I'm not too happy about. Look at these. These little buildings are starting to crop up. Little stores. Not operating. Why? Oh, well, you're operating normally. Never mind. There's actually nothing wrong. So I don't know why this guy's garbage isn't getting picked up. It's not really a problem though. So what's the issue out here? Not enough workers. I guess people are just not figuring out that they can work out here yet. Or we just don't have enough people living in the city and maybe we need to populate the hills a little bit more. So let's work on that because we got the water running out here. And I love putting little houses on these hills because I think these are the best places in the city to live because you get a nice view pretty much everything sort of slam in some houses there we might try to get some houses down here on top of these tunnels i wonder if we can i wonder if i can pull this off slope too steep i wonder so we can get kind of halfway down i don't know how i'm gonna pull this one off can i do the nope I don't want to do that. Get above ground, please. So I don't want to start there, okay, because that puts me in the tunnel. Understandable. But could I start, like, here? Slope too steep. Okay, that's because we're in the tunnel. I don't want to start as a tunnel, though. Slope too steep. Let me just try this one more time. Slope too steep. That's going to try to turn it into a tunnel. I mean, we can do that, but I don't want to do that. This area here, I just feel like there's more that I can do with this area, and it's a bit of a shame to have it completely unzoned. I mean, I could do this... I could put in some little roads that are off the off the circle. It's just a matter of figuring out how to get them back. Okay, we can do that. And then we can do that, right? That lets us put more houses on the hill. I'm okay with experimenting a little bit out here. And then we can do that. I, I just can't get that back up. That's the problem. I wonder, can we just run a road right underneath here? And then I just, I, I feel like there's a way to get this up here. And then if we've done that, it's not quite in line there. Well, I don't want it quite in line there, do I? No, I want to do something like this. And then that's not quite 90-90, but that's because that doesn't, this doesn't come out to where it should. Is there a way for me to get it to come out to where it should? Let's do a real quick check here. Should it be to there? No, it should be to there. But why is it, why is it elevated? Why is it elevated now when previously it was not? What's happened? What have I done? How is this, how is this happening? See, I don't think that's right. I think that's come out too far. But maybe there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, that's come out way too far. And now, obviously, trying to fix this is just going to cause me all kinds of grief, isn't it? See, it should be like to here, I think. Yeah, there we go. And then I almost don't even want to bring it this down there. I don't even think I can. So maybe we just have this as a little area where people can live as well. And then that brings you up to the hills. So let's make sure that these guys have some homes out here in the, in the fancy part where you can see. They got water? They got water. All right, everybody's happy. I'm happy. We do have a worker problem, but we're working on that. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get some mods here to let us get rid of some of this fog, because it's ugly. I can't see my city. My city's beautiful and I can't even see it. Why? Why is everything green tinted like I'm in the Matrix? We'll fix this. Don't you worry. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I hope the mods are cool. I think they're cool. They're not really doing too much. We didn't even notice most of them. Most of them are like new people and some new houses and some new vehicles and the first person camera, which is the coolest and some road tools. I guess that's all of them probably. But anyway, I'll probably grab some more because I think it's fun. And until next time, Circle City continues to grow. We're at a population of 3693. That's not so bad. Ah, we're finally almost able to move this. You know what? I think we need to build another one just real quickly. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.